Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're solving 633 sum of square numbers. Given a non-integer c, decide whether there's two integers a and b such that a squared plus b squared equals c. So if we're given an example where c equals 5, we want to return true here. Why? Because we can set a equal to 1, so obviously 1 squared is 1, plus 2 for b, 2 squared is 4, 1 plus 4, 5. So this is one of those questions where there exists some crazy math formula where it, most of you probably don't know it, most of you wouldn't even remember it if you did know it. Um, so we're not gonna use that because it's not really feasible that you would remember this in an interview. We're going to just use kind of basic kind of intuition here and math uh, to solve this, which basically anyone uh, could do. So the way that we wanna do this is we can think of um, this formula, right? So let's, you know, we have our numbers a and b, and we're looking for something such that a squared plus b squared equals to c. So if uh, we have, so given, given a is an integer, then we can say that b squared equals to c minus a squared, right? Simple math, we can just move the a to the other side. And that b equals to the square root of c minus uh, a squared, right? Again, we just square both sides, take the square root of both sides, pretty straightforward. Now this b, after taking the square root here, uh, may or may not be an integer. If it's an integer, great, because a is an integer and b is an integer, so we've just found two integers such that they sum um, one squared to c. Great, we're done. But if b is not an integer, then obviously we can't proceed because it's not a solution. So we need to try a, another integer for a, calculate b, see if it's an integer. So the way that we want to do this is we're going to start a basically from zero and we're going to crawl towards c. And what we're going to do is basically check um, whether or not um, we can get an integer b by basically using this formula here. And what we want to do is, yeah, basically just that. So we will just start a at zero, we'll calculate b this way. If b is an integer, uh, then we have found our two integers and we can simply return true. Otherwise, if we actually get through all the numbers from zero to c, uh, then we know that it's actually not possible to um, find our solution here. So yeah, that's it, we just return false. So how do we does this look in code? So like I said, we're gonna start a equals to zero, and we're going to say that while a squared is less than or equal to c, we're gonna say that b, like we said, is going to be c minus a squared, um, and we need to take the square root of this. Now, if b is actually an integer, so if b equals int of b, uh, then we can return true because we found our solution. Otherwise, we need to increment a by one because obviously b is not an integer, so this pair of a and b doesn't work, which means that um, we need to basically go forward uh, one a, one integer a, and you know keep trying. So either we will find our solution uh, within this while loop or the while loop will break and we just simply return false, uh, in which case we're done. So let's run this, looks fine and we are accepted. So pretty straightforward. The time complexity here is going to be what? So obviously you could just set a equal to zero and then for b, the amount of numbers you would need to try is capped at whatever square root of c is, right? Because then you could just go up until square root of c and eventually you would find one. Um, so that's the total number of integers that b could possibly take um, in the worst case. So that is basically the, the maximum on the time complexity because you just need to try square root of c numbers here and eventually um, you'll get there. Okay, so that is the time complexity um, and the space complexity, obviously we just have this a variable which is just storing an integer, uh, so it's going to be a big O of one. So relatively straightforward and annoying question, um, but not really one that I don't think anyone could not solve on their own. I think this is just basic math, kind of manipulating an equation um, and using the kind of constraints provided to find our solution. So no need to know any kind of fancy theorems. You just use some basic math 
Um, and hopefully, you know, you'll have seen this question before, so you can just come up with a solution. Probably on the spot, it might be a bit tricky, but anyway, that is how you solve this question. Don't really like it. I think it's a troll question. I hate when they ask this kind of math stuff, but anyway, it is what it is. Meta seems to be asking it, so I make the video. Anyway, if you learned something today and you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and a comment. It helps me uh, grow with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to help the channel grow, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.